there seemed to be an unstoppable, irresistible movement to keep everybody at home, which culminated with a pandemic, which was, you know, like nobody saw that coming. But everything was right. going in that way anyway, because right. Amazon was mm. delivering everything to your house. Sure. And movies were being delivered to your house. And, and you never had to really leave your house. You could even like, you know, have uh, put on some goggles and, and, and have a sensation like you were walking in the park, <laughs> you, you know, well, walking your dog virtually. I, I will never be one of those people. No, none of us. I don't think you ever look cool with goggles on your head. And but what, what I was saying was, is that it seemed as though when all of this was proliferating, that this was the new normal, that this was going to be the way it was. <clears throat> people, were, people were going to con be consigned to doing everything at home, and there would be no more communal... Um, right, office. You know, a con uh what's what's uh yeah like like the office like there's no place where people gather communally yeah there would be you know movie theaters were the synagogues and the churches these were places where they were ritualistic in in nature but what you got out of them was real spiritual kind of nourishment and all of those things began to become devalued by the fact that you don't have to leave your house now. You can stay home and get anything you want, right. anything you want. And we thought, Do you just have to and I even thought, but then, you know, somehow it's like that little piece of grass that grows between the, right. the, the in the concrete. Yeah. yeah, It just, and somehow a movie does $180 million on a weekend and you go, not so fast. They look at Oppenheimer. I think that the message from the audience is do more of that, work a little harder. I, I, but the idiots who run who run the show are going. They're always behind the. They're always two steps behind. Well, you they're can't, always going. Oh wait, now we got to okay. do this now. Okay. Well, you can't blame them too much when Avengers Endgame just you know made. Three hundred and fifty million dollars. I mean, there there's a reason why they make the movies they make. They want to make money. If if people didn't go to these, but a lot of those franchise ones are are starting to peter out. You know, they're just you, you can only do it so many times. Right. Um, even for kids, and they're all the same from each other. Like you know, what my favorite um, superhero movie is it's the one everyone thinks is garbage. Hellboy. <laughs> Hellboy. Yes. Well, that's. Uh... Hey, thanks for watching the clip. Hit the subscribe button now so you never miss out on our club random content that's posted daily.